to show y'all how this this right here became this so let me go ahead and um I'm not sure if I save this let me go ahead and save this because my computer be bugging for some reason, guys, this computer bugs out. Yep, we're going to save it right up under that. Your girl eating some ice cream. I'm eating some unicorn birthday cake. Why are we working on this? Okay. So this right here, I'm going to show you how I got this look. I'm just going to get in and hide this. Before we get started, I just want to show you this right here. Is something that I um I already made this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Well, how cute is this, guys? How cute is this? This goes back to the previous, the last video that I just posted. I just finished posting. I was talking to you guys. That's what this video goes back to. Um, this is my ice cream. That's what that video goes back to, guys. Where um, I was saying when you're um, when you have like um, a printer when you when you're doing sublimation, these are images that you can um, sell. You can, like I said, you can actually put this type of stuff together, different characters with different slogans and things like that, and you can put it together and make this right here and, and turn this into an SVG file, and you can literally sell it. You can put it on your store. You can even, you can, yeah, if you got an Instagram store, Facebook store, Etsy, your website, you make your image and you can sell these guys. You can sell them. People sell their images from starting from like 99 cent. I never seen people sell their images up to like this one picture, $5, $6. I never seen people sell this for $10. So imagine if you get five people, you sell this image. If say if you sell it for four, they used to do four ninety nine. You sell it for four ninety nine. Four people, that's twenty dollars. Five people, that's twenty five. Even if you sell it for two ninety nine, then you know it's your price. Something like this, you can definitely sell it for four ninety nine, and people are going to buy it. They will buy it. So, um, yeah. And only thing is, when you're printing and designing space, it only allow you to. You can only um, print up to eight point eight point five by eleven. But there are tricks. You can slice it to make bigger images. And that's what I'm going to show you in a minute. And to make, so say if I want to make this bigger, I can slice it. Or you can always go into, if you have, um, you can always go into, um, oh God, what is the name of it? Um, I'm going to unlock it here. Right here is the key. I mean the key to lock. When you when you don't have when you when it's locked, you can you know you can't open it and drag it across. And you can unlock it also from up here. When you click on it, it's a lock up here. You can unlock it from there, lock it back. But we're gonna unlock it because I want to drag it across. Let me let me bring it back. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. So I want to bring it across. So say I want to make the image bigger, right? So I'm going to slice it. And once I slice it down here where it says slice, well, attach and flat, and I'm going to hit the slice. 
It's going to slice it. It's going to go away. And it's going to come back. So now I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. So now I have my images. Only thing is I always get rid of my, the, the, you see that around here? But anyway, you see this right here? I would, normally I get and slice that too, but I'm just showing you for this just to show you. So now that we have this image, you can make this bigger. You can come up here. But you would want to keep, normally what I do, I keep it together. Like I just do like that together. So that way that the whole thing be, um, that's the trick to it. So that way the whole, um, it, it'd be the same size. And if you keep, you see over here, you have the caution sign. That right there lets you know that your image is too big. See what I was telling you guys when I say my computer be bugging? It, 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 I just lost everything that I had there. That's why I said, let me go ahead and say what I had. So that means we just going to go ahead and um, and I'm going to show you what I was going to do. So here, this is all my projects that I say. I'm going to click on to that. See, while I said this is why I saved all my stuff. I'm going to get to that. And then down here it says custom or make it. So see if I'm just ready to make it, I just hit make. It's going to take it straight over to the printer or whatever or the cutter and, and we'll go from there. But because I'm going to hit custom, so it's going to bring it back here. It's going to bring it back here. So, there we have it. All right. So, let me see. All right. So, I'm going to just go ahead and take this out. My colors. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Because I don't need it. So, this right here. As you see up here. Up here in the corner. It says, um, let me put the glasses on. Got to put the glasses on, guys, so I can see without. So up here, it says basic cut. You click on cut, basic cut, draw. That's when you're using your pen. Your, um, when you doing a fusion ink and you can draw and stuff. Here is print and cut, print, then cut. So we're going to turn this basic cut here into a print and cut so i always i'm just going to duplicate one just in case i have to go back i always just um do that so here right so remember what i tell you you could you could unlock it and once you unlock it you can you can make it big like that, 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 however you want to. But the, the it's best to, it's like when you unlock it, you just get like a different shape compared to when it's locked and, and, um, But you know what? We just gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna show so we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna come into my shapes. You can pick any shape you want. I'm just gonna go with this one. And remember what I tell you is so I need to unlock it. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it across. And I'm going to bring it down to where I feel like I want to slice it. So I'm going to slice it there. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate another one of these. So now do the next slice. So I'm going to go over here. 
And I put click on the eye. And when you click on the eye, it takes it away from here. So now we're going to highlight the part that we want to slice. Now that part is highlighted. We're going to come down here, as I showed you before. Slice, well, attach, and flatten. We're going to slice. It takes a, f a few minutes. This we're going to get rid of. Click on the X. This we're going to get rid of. Click on the Click on the X. So now you have it. You see that? It's sliced. So now we're going to click on. Uh, we're going to bring back the ball that we duplicated. Uh, I'm going to send the bar to the, up here where it says arrange, we're going to send it to the back. I'm going to unlock it one more time. I'm going to stretch it out. Then we're going to bring it down to where I want to cut. So we're going to do it right there. Once again, you're going to highlight it over what you want slice. Hit, hit the slice. It's going to take a few seconds. And it's back. Now we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of that. So now we have that. As you see, right? So I'm going to put this here because I'm going to show you. You see all of this right there? I don't want that. So I'm going to bring another. I'm going to get another um, square. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Because I don't want all of that. And then go ahead and slice. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that one. And we're going to still keep that one. And now it took this away. So now we're going to get rid of that. So now you have, you have your image. And you could, and now you want to change, change your colors. I think I need to get rid of that little slice right there, but we'll do that in a minute. So we're going to make this, that's how I got that. That's yellow. And that's gray. So now you have it. You see that? So now you have it. So what I normally do is you can do different ways because I want to keep mine big. I want it big. So when I um, put the image on whatever I'm pressing on, if I'm doing a hoodie or a shirt, you want it big. So when you have it separate like that, like like this, how it is, and you just print it out and then you can just layer it together while you're doing it. Or you can, I don't like it when I do, when you do this because to me, it makes it, um, how would you say it makes it, um, to me, the image is small. And you and you can't even though the well lights up, but if you the well is normally good when you doing like when you did doing like dealing with the the Texans things like that. If I was to hit well, it's gonna kind of turn everything into one color. So I really don't want that. 
if I do the attach, it's going to still make the, it's going to attach it, but it's still going to make the image where it's going to be too big. If I do the flatten, the same thing. I'm going to show you, demonstrate all three. We're going to do the well. You see? It turns everything green. So from whatever the top um thing is, it will turn it back. That's a pretty color. You can make it. You can, and that's the thing. When you do this, you can do it any color. But because I wanted to do the three colors while I sliced it. But say if you don't want to slice, I mean, you just want to do like one solid color. Like how this is black. You want to do like the one solid color. You can just go ahead and... And just change the whole image to that one color. But if you're doing, you know, you see, you can change it to whatever color you want, guys. If you want to do like, you know, like one color or two colors, whatever you, whatever you choose. You know, whatever you choose, guys. So we're going to go ahead and pick that back. So I'm going to go ahead and over here. Will you see the two arrows? These is your space. It will take you back. So I'm going to go ahead and back. I want to own. Um... This is the only thing with the backspace. The only thing. Okay, so there we go. So now we back. So now to show you if I was to do the the attach. You see? Same thing. Now the only thing is now if I was to do the when I do the um Wait, I'm going to try something. The flatten, it keeps it the same color, but you see it gives you that. So that means you have to make the image smaller. We don't want that. But I wanted to try something. So I'm going to do that. Um, where is it? Um, it's, a, it's something that I think somebody do, and it's like, I want to try it. I really want to try it, guys. Like, I really want to try it. I'm trying to see, like, if, when I highlight it, what it do. It's something over here where you should, you're supposed to be able to click on it. Let me see. Is it the color? No. It's not that. It's something over here. I've, I've seen so many people do it, and... I try to watch so many um, videos from um, the group of people explaining. Let me see. Did that help it? I just grouped it. I wonder, did that help? I don't know. No. Cause it's showing the 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 this slice right here is too big. I'm gonna ungroup it. I don't know why that one is showing. That is too big. I don't get that. I 
Okay. All right. This is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to group it back. Okay, so there we go, guys. I like that. I like that. See, we learned something together. We learned something together. There we go. There we go. Hey, hey, there we go. So let's see if it'll print. Then that'll be the test. Same thing. <laughs> Even though it was grouped, the same thing. So I already printed that out. I'm going to show you. I already printed it out. You see? I already printed it out. I go this way. And you know it's mirrored. And this is the bottom part. So it was already printed out. And I already printed this one out as well. So I have a couple of things printed out that I have. You always want to keep things um, printed more than one. And I have like a little file that I keep everything in. So I just want to come on and show y'all guys that. How that is so cool, right guys? This is so cool. Like this is really cool. Let me see. I wonder can I flatten it. Nope, when I flatten it, it still does that. Let me see. You see what I was saying about the size? Do you see how small like your image will be? So that's why I, I say that. Now well, let me see. No, it's still too small. Cause you can only print eight. It, like it only allows you eight by eight eight point five by eleven. Let me look at that. You see? Look at that. And that's still not the whole sheet. This is why I, I, I certain images, when I want it, like I'm doing a hoodie, especially for an adult or a big person, you definitely need that image to be big. So that's why I will, yeah. So, yeah. So I just wanted to come on and show you all that because like I said in the previous video, I've been, I have a couple of people that ask, you know, ask me um, how to do certain things and I promised that I was going to do it. I was going to show. So yeah. I should have. Got rid of that before. Uh, while my new images is coming, I'm just gonna put them on thing. Cause I already know this computer, this desktop, be bugging out, God. And I don't know if y'all seen it. If y'all follow me on my social media and my other platform, you already seen that I posted a video where my um. my um laptop broke so yeah i can just go ahead and just put the the number in at the top but i don't know to me i just like doing it this way because i just get it to where i want it to be martin 
That's the real deal, Martin. Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife, Coretta. And I think I want to put this on my hat. You see what I'm saying? This right here, ugh. Look at that, look at that. See that? That's crazy. I want to make this, I think I want to put this on, um, on one of my, the air fresheners that I have. I think I should do it on the, the wide one. Yeah, I think the wide one would be better. And I think I want to do... Think this one I cut I made this one a um I need to go ahead and say matter of fact let me go ahead and say this one before my computer get and bug out again. Guys, it's a shame that your girl gotta get and sh and save save her stuff so that it don't um bug out. It's crazy, right? That's crazy. Um, no, let me see. I just want to um, add one more thing because I don't want to waste my paper. So I want to put at least print at least like three or four images on it on it before I um Black history. I can't pick one. I don't think I'm going to do that one. I did the Bob Marley. Um, the Kylie B. Those are for um, um, the games. These are for um, my. Um, what you call them puzzles? I mean, pain and sip. Mm. I'm just trying to find one more, guys. One more, and then. And then we done. My computer is so slow. I hate this. I forgot about I was eating the ice cream. It now melted. I know the one. I know what I want. Hmm. 
No, just what I want. And then it's down toward the bottom. There we go. That's what I'll be looking for. I like this one too, but I'm going to just go ahead and do this one. I hope my computer don't, um, I like that one. So you see, I have that one behind it. So I'm hoping it stays like that. This is for, I have one that's like tall and slim. I'm hoping this one fits it, that it's not too big. I'm trying to see. Okay. And then, um, so means this. Oh, okay. I just feel like they still just too big. Oh, okay. And I really want that. Let me see. This means they still too big.
it prints slow, so I'll probably just come back once it um, finishes print, and then we'll end this video. Because it really does print slow, guys. That's the only thing I don't... If I could get the dog on paper in... Here we go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit center printer. My printer's already set for this one. It's already set for this one, which is as you see that the the Epson ET, which is my the Inco Inco Tank 28 series, and I have my other printers also set. This was the first one I had to um send back that was messed up. Then I had my HP printer, but this is the one that I'm using. So there we go. I'm gonna hit send. Now I'll be back. All right, guys. So we back. I just wanted to come back, and um, so this is the um, the last print right here, and this is for the incense. And I already, <clears throat> while I was waiting for the that to print, I already cut out these images right here. I already cut these out. So I already cut these out and now I'm going to cut these out and then we're going to press them on to the, um, to the car air fresheners. So here, like here, if I was going to put some of those, I could have just run, um, let the machine cut them out, the quicker machine, like cut it out. But because the way I'm going to print them, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to get it, exit out. Cancel, cancel, and it's gonna bring it back here. Um, I didn't save this one. I saved these. I saved the Martin. So let me save this one. Yeah, because I want the um. I want to definitely make use this again without having to go all over again and resize it so guys i'm going to end it here i'm going to um get rid of that replace yes so that's going to take all that out so i'm going to end it here and i just want to show you all how to do that and we're going to end the video here and um We'll come back with part two of pressing the um, putting the um the images on the the car air fresheners, and I also want to use one of the images on a hat. So we're gonna come back with part two for that. All right, guys, thank you for rock with your girl. We all here together to learn together. So with that being said, y'all stay safe, y'all stay blessed, and just know your girl love you. Later.